the position that any person in the family never occupy, you must occupy that place. The job that people never done in your family, you must do it. The money that nobody has touched, you must touch it. The business that nobody has done in your family, you must do it. The property that nobody has bought before, you must buy it. The area where nobody has gone, you will go there. Do you believe that? Raise your hand, raise your hand, raise your hand, raise your hand, raise your hand. God have a plan of welfare. Say with me, God have a plan of welfare and no calamity. Today, I know I can go somewhere. I can reach somewhere. I can achieve something. I can do certain job that other people fail. I, I, I can be very great in my life. I will never depend on the blood of my family. I'm depending on the blood of Christ. Are you sure? Raise your hand, raise your hand, raise your hand. Father, it's all by believing. Let Dieu d'Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Qui est comme toi? Who's like you, the God of glory? I know you call on existence what doesn't exist. You transform life of people. You make things to happen so that we can see and boost our faith. Today we see people with nothing becoming something. Starting by me, Stefan. You pick me from nothing to something. And I'm living testimony of your glory and the supernatural power. These people never come to see any person here, Lord. They come only to see you. Oh. They come to see you and seeking your supernatural power. That raise people and bring them to that dimension. If you have been looking a visa, I commend that visa to come to you. Send this one wherever you are, I'm praying for you. Papa Chris, I'm praying for you. May the Almighty God touch you wherever you are for your believing and increase you. I say, if you have been looking a job overseas, I say, receive the name of Jesus Christ. Believing is our connection. If you have an appointment that is delaying, I say, receive in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing you, they are promoting you in May. There's somebody receiving a promotion in May. La Soneka. Les yeux d'un faucon. Et les yeux d'un faucon, c'est les yeux qui voient même un poisson dans l'eau. Et quand il calcule ce faucon, cet oiseau, Ces fish, he va le prendre. Si Dieu voit quelque chose, if God can see something, no matter. Aya, aya. Liche now, samia kunta le verde. When the eagle, the eagle can see something in the water. He will be very far, and God has given him a gift. Every animal in the jungle have a gift, and nobody have lost their own gifts. 
When an eagle sees something in the water, he will calculate it. I don't know why he studied the mathematics. Although he's a bird, he will calculate it on the speed. He will make a speed and you catch a fish. As long as I've seen your promotion, I command that eye of an eagle to cut a promotion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say in May, around 15, around 15 of May, there will be a promotion of somebody. Around 15 of May, there is a promotion. They will just call you from nothing and give you a promotion. It is a surprise. And it's not by merit. It is a miracle. It is a miracle. Aya. There's somebody, you have a sister in a hospital. Somebody, you have a sister in a hospital. I'm praying, I'm seeing the hand of God to touch that sister of yours. The sickness is an attack. God will take him out by his glory. Uh, if you don't say thank you to God, it's up to you. You have to give glo glo glory to God. This year, when attack comes, you come out of that place, it by grace. Hey, I command your souls that I've been watching for day and night to be promoted in the mighty name of Jesus. See, I will never be like my brother. I will never be like my sister. I will never be like my, my mother. Either my father. I am alone. I will be like Jesus Christ. Say, I will overcome temptation. I will overcome. I will be successful until I sit at the right hand of God the Father operating. I am a blessing of my children. I am a blessing of my descendants. As God say, the blessing I receive is for me and my family. I delegate all the blessing to my descendants. Bless your children, bless your children, bless your children, bless your children. Bless them, bless them, bless them. Declare blessing upon them. Declare your children to do what you cannot do. Declare your children to reach where you never reach. Declare your children to do a lot. Bless your descendants, bless your descendants. Bless them, bless them, bless them. Your mouth is a blessing. Your declaration will work. Dedicate them, dedicate them. Dedicate your children. Dedicate your children. Continue dedicating your children. Dedicate your children. Continue praying. Continue praying. Continue praying for your children. Pray for their children. Pray for your children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Name them one by one. Name them by names. The Bible say, I know you by your name. I know you by your name. Call them by name and dedicate them to the almighty God. Take your time. Call them by their names and dedicate them to the almighty God. Ask the Father to give them a pure heart. Ask the Father to give them a pure heart so that they may see God. Ask the Father that the love of God may abound in them in knowledge and the deep things of the mighty God so that they may receive the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. That they may be able to differentiate between good and bad. Ask the Father to fill them with the love. Ask them that they may have a heart that seeks the Father more. Seeking the Holy Spirit and walking in righteousness. Dedicate them, especially the youth. They are going under temptations, trials. 
dedicate if you got a youth dedicate them whether it's your sisters your neighbor dedicate your children to the almighty god in the mighty name of jesus christ say father i dedicate my children i say father give them a pure heart that they may see you give them a pure heart that they may see you give them a heart that seeks you that seeks your kingdom above all else in the mighty name of jesus christ father let your love abound more and more upon their lives that they may be able to differentiate between good and bad open their hearts open their hearts to love you more to seek you more to seek you more in the mighty name of jesus christ cover them with the most precious blood of jesus cover them with the most precious blood of jesus cover your children stand up for them stand up for the youth in jesus mighty name stand up for the youth name them one by one in the mighty name of jesus christ Continue mentioning the name of your children. Mention them and call them by name. The Lord God says, I call you by your name because I know who you are. Start calling all your children. Call them by their names. We are on the altar in the church right here in the presence of the King of Kings. Mention them by their names and say, you, my son, I am calling you. Call your daughter, mention their names, and call them in the name of Jesus. Say, I call you to the altar in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today is the beginning of a new dawn. Because that old language, that old life, the life of the past is gone. Our focus is toward the future. Call your children mention their names and dedicate them to the most high God dedicate all your children to the most high God in the name of Jesus Christ when Joseph had children in the foreign land when his father Jacob who had the covenant with the most high God when he reached the area and the land where his son Joseph was. So he had to dedicate Ephraim and Manasseh to the Most High God. As you are calling your children by their names, they are entering into the covenant that we have with our father, Apostle Stephan. Mention them, say, today we are entering a new covenant in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There's a huge door that has been opened for you and I today. There's a huge door that has been opened. It is the door of blessing. We are coming out of that ancestral covenant and we are entering into a new covenant. It is a covenant of blessing. Call your children by their names and dedicate them to the Most High God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Say, Father, today, in the name of Jesus, me and my family, we say yes to you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, me and my house, we say yes to you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Father, we say thank you for your grace. Because it is a new dawn and it is a new beginning. Say, Father, I say thank you in Jesus Christ's name. Raise your hands, your raise your hands. Uh, today, it says forget your past and go for the change. As it has happened, Blessing your children, getting a promotion in May, so you can foresee already how the month of May will come. Amen. That's why the declaration, the prophecy has come, so you can see what is coming. 
in the next month, next time. So I'll bless you for the blessing that the Lord has given me. I say in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, anyone, you receive. You don't say my prayer. I'm praying for you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I proclaim liberty. Anyone without court case loads, he must come out free in the name of Jesus. Father, anyone who has been accused falsely must be justified in the name of Jesus. Father, as they are going out, anyone or loads who has been out of his dream, Father, bring him back in the right track in the name of Jesus. Father, that promotion your servant declare. Father, I proclaim it to them in the name of Jesus. Receive your promotion in your career, in your business, in your study, your career, your finances. Be promoted in the name of Jesus. Receive the promotion in your dreams, in your office, in your house, in your